live here in the heart of Atlanta, Georgia at the beautiful OTE Arena. I'm so excited right now. It's opening weekend powered by uh, GMC. It's your host, Agent Zero, joined by Duke Dennis. Yes, sir. We got Cam in the building. What up, what up? Hey, it's Jelly Fam versus RWE Cam. It's nice to have you back. It's very nice to have you back. I'm excited to see both of these, both of these teams here playing. Uh, both of these teams played last night, though, Cam. What did you see from your squad last night? What did you like? What, what, what did you not like? Uh, we came out a little bit slow yesterday, man. I didn't like how we didn't push the tempo. Cold Hearts got hot really quick. What I did like, though, is how we didn't give up at the end, even though we were down 13 with about two minutes left. We came back, brought it to a two-point game, but we ended up falling, up falling short. Yeah, Jelly Fam was also in action last night, Duke. How do you feel about their performance? I mean... Oh, this is Daquan Davis right here. Oh, he was he was an absolute bucket yesterday. Yeah, he had 21, 7, and 4. He was hooping for sure. I would say the highlight, maybe, of the team. Nah, most definitely. Carter Knox. I expect him to come out a little bit hot today. Um, yesterday, a little bit slow. He had a quiet 20. I think he needs to take over today. Yeah, absolutely. But, yeah, as I was saying, Duke Jelly Fam also played yesterday. They almost, it was a lot of momentum, man, but they ended up dropping the game. How do you feel like they did? Uh, they, they too came out a little slow. Matter of fact, a lot slow. Um, they tried to pick up the, you know what I'm saying, the momentum uh, throughout the game, but it just wasn't enough given the fact that they came out so slow they only scored like two, four points in the first quarter. So they're going to they're gonna have to completely reverse and change up their game plan if they even have a chance to keep up yeah. with RWE. Like, this is the best team in the whole league. So yeah. we're going to see, and they're going to have to show us tonight. And that all relies on Ian Jackson. Quieter than expected yesterday, Cam. Uh, what are you expecting from him this game? I expect him to come out shooting early, taking it to the rim, being aggressive, because he's a 30-point-per-game scorer with ease. I mean, he's best scorer. He North Carolina commit for a reason, top five in his class. He needs to come out, be aggressive, shoot the ball, take it to the rim, do everything for his team today. Yeah, well, Cam, you got the best of the cold hearts yesterday, so. We'll see what happens here today, man. Tip-off is almost underway. Let's take a look at the starters first for Jelly Fam. Delquan Warren, Elijah Moore, Ian Jackson, Solomon Amanu, and Mabil Mawut Mabil. And next, for RWE. Daquan Davis, he was on fire yesterday. Darian Sutton, an absolute bucket. Nathan Messia Dio, Big Nate. Santos Surreal, been a dominant force down low. And of course, the man, Carter Knox. Expect to see a lot from him today. Before we get to that, though, or the tip-off, let's bring in the fourth member of our broadcast team, Tom, with the Adidas face-off. Thank you, fellas. I'm down here with Coach Pete Jelly, fam. Coach Fraser with RWE. You said to me, you guys look great, by the way. Oh, man. That, that, he, he look, I, that, I, white is beautiful. You, oh. you said to me, we're not, we might not play well, but we got to look good, right? We got to look good. I, I, I feel good. Well, what's also, you feel good, you look good, you feel good, you play good. So we'll see. Too bad I ain't playing. Yeah, I, how do you avoid uh, going 0-2? Try to avoid going 0-2. It's as simple as that. Ho hopefully, Pete and them have another bad night. We'll be good. Jelly Fam squad ready to go? Man, we ready to go. We got to defend and rebound. They got a lot of guys who protect the backboard and run the floor, and they can put the ball in the hole, man. So we, we got to work again tonight. That's why I love this league. It's a dog fight every night. I know. I know you get a little nervous playing Sompto. Good luck, fellas. We got a great game ahead of City. Uh, we got Jelly Fam against RWE. Can't wait to see it. Let's get this tip going. Here we go. Hey, thanks for that, Tom. Tip off almost underway. Jelly Fam versus RWE. Ian Jackson's going to have to turn up, man, because I know RWE is not happy with yesterday's loss. They will be coming full force. Hey, coach is not lying, though. Them white polos look good. I'm going to eat one You're a polo type of guy? I am a polo type of guy. I need one of those. Those are fire. Yo, these black jerseys look tough. Black RWE. Jelly Fam RWE, of course, is our home team taking on the Who y'all got winning, though? I got RWE. Yeah, you know who I'm rocking with, man. 
You know who I'm rocking with. All right, I'm 0 3 right now, so I'm going to say yeah. RWE. Who'd you? Yeah. You chose Cole Hart's last game? Yeah. We all did. Yeah, they came out a little bit rough. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, that was they ain't look the same. Hey, but I'm definitely <laughs> looking forward to not showing out tonight. I can feel it. There's Warren. Oh, they, 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 they long, long, long rotation, long, long switch. <laughs> After losing the tip off, I heard one of the players say, have we ever won a tip? <laughs> it's crazy, because Sompto jumping. Carter Knox in the air. Try changing mid shot. Moore with it. I need to see Jelly Fam get their star involved. Or maybe he just needs to do it himself. I feel like every team needs that one player they can rely on. Carter Knox. No, nope, not quite. It's all right. He needs to keep shooting those. I don't care what Carter Knox shoots 63 tonight. Yeah, there we go. Tough. Yeah, they need to play at that tempo all game. I feel like RWE came in this season with such high expectations. They performed so well in the preseason. Dropped the first game. Let's see if they can. They're really hoping to go undefeated all year. Sometimes you need that wake up call, though. They needed to lose that game. And sometimes when you think like it's going to be easy or like you take your foot off the gas. Exactly. I've been victim of that myself. Yeah, I did that against Davis. And yeah, I lost 1v1. Twice, won. man. Yeah. I know that. Listen, bro, you never let Davis get the one. I beat him 12-1 other day. Yeah. Beat that man. That lost hurt. <laughs> Listen, man, you can't let him even think he got a chance against you. Or every, every time I see him, he keep bringing it up. Okay, yeah, see? Yeah, right. <laughs> That's why I'll tell you, I'm not letting Davis beat me, bro. Warren thought about it. Deep three. No. Santo. Santo on the rebounds. Up to Knox. Pull up. I like I like that. I like that though. I like the confidence. Knox yeah. took every shot. Yeah, one more miss though. He got the cold ring. Yeah. Charge called. You're right. That, that's Davis taking a charge. Davis gives me like serious Kyle Lowry vibes. Does he? Yeah. Why is that? I don't know, man. Just like his stature, like body type. You know, Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry also takes a ton of a ton of charges. You know, they're not like particularly tall, but they love driving. Yeah. Crafty around the rim. Good shooter. There's Big Nate. Nice active hands there. Been interesting seeing Nate develop as a player. Feels a lot more comfortable with the ball in his hand, season three. Oh, baseline. Loses it, though. Jelly Fam on the fast break. Three ball. There we go. That's a good shot. They need. And that's who they need it from. Yep. If E. Jackson starts to go crazy if he starts to hit his shots he gets on fire i don't know man i'm gonna be nervous that's a different side the good thing about this league is like any team can beat any team on any night yeah so, oh good shot boy that back three no i'm a bill good rebound now question i just want to just, just just a question if rwe lose tonight what is the question Asked. Do they blow it up? Who do I need to trade? Is the oh, question. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if you're going to find a team interested. <laughs> One weekend in, man. I mean, that was like the Jordan Poole trade rumors. Blow it up. <laughs> <laughs> Ten games into the season, talk about he's on the trade block. Turns out it was all fake. You got J-Jack on the line. Cam said uh, he was going to trade him to about 40 different teams earlier today. Dang. I don't think I said that. I said that, Tom? Uh, yeah, you said every time I mention a player, you're like, yeah, we'll trade J Jack for him. Oh, we'll trade J Jack for him. Huh. You wanted Michael. You wanted yep. a few different guys. Yo, Cam, as the owner of a team, man, how you feel about Mark Cuban selling uh, the Mavericks? He's smart. He needed to be a family man, anyways. What was it? 
You don't have no conspiracies? Ooh, good block from Santo. Santo grabbed it, basically. Davis, fast break, RWE. Oh. I thought, I thought, I thought he was going to go up with that for a second. Lay. No, gets blocked. I was going to say, a lot of people are conspiring that because he's also leaving Shark Tank. Uh -oh. They're getting aggressive down there. Uh-oh. Santo's not even the guy you want problems with. Santo's not even the guy you want problems with, man. He's a good guy, man. Whoever runs Jelly Bam's Instagram called Solo, uh, the Santo Stopper. So there you go. Yeah. I don't believe that. I don't think that's, I believe that. That's Cal. Yeah, I don't know. He had it. Listen, he had a hard time against John. Guys, I run the Jelly Fam Instagram account. It was me. <laughs> hey, let's check out pregame cuts with Jason Jack. What up? Chilla, chilla. Let's do it. So quick question, how long have you been playing basketball? Probably since like fourth grade. My first word was football though. If you could describe your game in one word, what would it be? Excited. Oh! That's how it needs to be, for sure. I heard you guys blasting music on my way up here. So tell me like, who gets you hyped? Keisha Ooh. Cole and Alicia Key. Okay. <laughs> So what's the worst haircut you ever had? Probably a mohawk. The mohawk was going. It was one of them old triangle mohawks. Yeah, they did you dirty. <laughs> okay. Well, we gonna get you right. We gonna make sure that you leave here with some good products. I'm going to use this leave-in conditioner. It really smell good too. Oh, you like that? It's going to help leave your hair hydrated throughout the day, especially when you out here balling. For sure. Always. Cut J Jack had a good game yesterday, man. How you feel about that mohawk? Uh, hideous, man. But I think like if you just fast forward ten years, everything you do now is gonna look hideous to you. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. Cause like the trends just change. But, man, I think in like five years, skinny jeans can be crazy, and then five more years, baggy jeans can be crazy. Yeah, but nah, trends uh, rotate. Yeah. So like, baggy jeans was cool in uh, 2009. But they just came back in 2023. Oh, man. Cole! What a move! No, can't connect. Oh, man, that's the wrong person to leave open. Need those, I'm not gonna lie. Jay Jack, the man himself, on the drive. That was good defense, I'm not gonna lie. Looked like he might have got all ball. How y'all feel about these Jelly Fam jerseys? Not a fan, but okay. Jelly's in the name, so I think they're better than the black uniforms. Really? Yeah. They they they, they kind of a little Charlotte Hornets colors, but other than that, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a it's they got a lot going on right now. Yeah, it's, it's unique, man. I will say that. Like the yellow, like what? Why? Where that come from? Yeah. Santo Sutton, easy lay. Bigs connect. Can't have one of those slow starts Jelly Fam had yesterday. They got to get things going. Warren, man. <laughs> Look Pompano in his eyes. He did not pass it to him. Davis, high pick and roll with Samto. One legged shot doesn't go. Samto on the rebound though, put back, gets fouled. Who would you say is like a player that impressed you, Cam, on your team? Probably Quan. I think from the first preseason game I saw him to now, he's definitely developed a lot more. Definitely the leader I knew he was going to be. Um, and his jump shot, that's the, that was the biggest question for me was how, how can he knock down shots? And he's definitely improved as a jump shooter throughout the season, throughout preseason and to now. So definitely Quan. Salto at the line misses the first free throw. We're familiar with his story. He was with us in season two from Nigeria. 
He said the day he got his visa was one of the best days of his life. Which is fine. He's chasing his hoop dreams, man. Hoop dreams. Look at that. Yo, a lot of people been having conversation, though. Nice rebound there. No, turns it over. Santo has it. Gets stripped. Loose ball. Cam, you feel like Santo should go to Kentucky or straight to the league? You think he's ready for that? I think a couple years of college will be perfect for Santo. I think that would be perfect for him. Coach Calipari is a great coach. He'll get him right. Yeah, that is a good environment. Warren misses. Imagine if Santo had a three-pointer. I was just thinking that. Imagine he became a pick-and-pop shooter. He'd be a problem. He just reminded me of Clint Capella. Yeah, that's a great comparison. Yeah. Sutton, nice moves. That's, Finds that's his way. Beautiful. Oh, oh. Oh. Big guard. Oh, look at the ball. That's just great ball control, man. Ian Jackson passes it out. Amanu. Ooh. Nah, nothing, right, man. Right. Yeah. Probably just roll next time. Samto. <laughs> Euro step from deep. <laughs> Not quite. Not really his forte. I'm tripping or did Samto travel? Uh, it looked like it. I think Santos just be trying stuff. He be trying in the gym by himself. <laughs> that was a nice move by Sutton. Looks like we got Tom on the sideline, Tom. Thanks. Thanks, fellas. Down here with Quan. Tough game yesterday. What was the mentality coming into this one, trying to get a win? He's so huge. Santos ran into us. Sorry, guys. All right. Uh, no, uh, so my side today was just uh, to come out, you know, make a statement. So yesterday, you know, we came out short. We played really bad and lost by two. So uh, we just came out today to make a statement. Do you feel like the guys came in today kind of like motivated, like almost angry or like a little down on yesterday? What was the vibe? Uh, we came back motivated, really. We came back, uh, like you said, like one to win by 30 because we make a statement game since we lost by yesterday. Jelly Bam also, they obviously got a bunch of guards. Del Quan, Ian, Chop. Is there one that you're specifically matched up on today? Uh, no. You can switch to anyone. It's, everybody can guard, so it doesn't really matter who guarding. You get the first win of the year? For sure. Juan, good luck. Rest of the way. Back to you guys. Good guy, man. He's a really good guy. Jay Jack! Nice drive. Got contact and a foul. These games get like too chippy for me not to believe. Like, they definitely go back and forth off the court, too, man. In the weight room, in practice. I like the RWE jerseys, though. And yeah, me, too. Yeah, they're smooth. Probably my favorite ones. You designed them, Cam? I didn't. But I did get the little squiggly line on the, on the side, though. That was me. That's all me. <laughs> Yo, you did that? Yeah, that was me. <laughs> hey, now I know what the Jelly Found Dredge reminds me of. Y'all know, like, five, six, seven years ago, like, them, like, we... Oh! Okay, that was crazy. You see, like, uh, Julian Newman uh, and them, like, it's, it's a, some of the tournament they be going to, like, you know what I'm talking about? Nah. Like... All the players be going to like some tournament where the jerseys be like purple or pink and green. Like, I don't know. Bro. I know you're talking about MSH TV. I, I like guess that's what it's called. This, this, these, they remind me of them. Like, it's like a real colorful. Mm -hmm. But you, I used to see Julian Newman just dribbling on them all the time. <laughs> hey, we got the first big bonus of the game. Throw the foul limit. So 5v4 advantage with 14 seconds on the clock. Knox wide. Buckets. What happened to Julian Newman? Uh, he's he's actually playing in the Bleacher Report thing. The yeah, Creative League? Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Okay. It's like it's tough though. I'm not gonna lie. He got smoked by Chris. It's just bad. I don't know why. I just feel like it feel like a fall from grace almost. Good hit. This dude with the Bulls, all right? On his own? Okay. Chopper. He's got to show us that in a vibe cam one day. Jay Jack with the ball. Thank you. 
Back to Knox. He's pulling up, guaranteed. Still pulling up with confidence, not hitting the ball, but a lot of contact, no call there. Jelly Fam on the counter. Might have been a travel there, gets picked off. On that rim, please. Wide open, fast break. Hey. I, like right there. I like that right there. Something looks like. He, he definitely an important piece on this RWE yeah. squad. Very explosive and a nice ball handle, too. Loses it. Ian Jackson. Oh, man. Oh. Ah. Sutton almost turns it over. RWE scrambling a little. Knox with it. Drives. Yeah, no call right there. It's crazy. Ah, that looked like it was clean. This was the steal and dunk from Sutton. Knox, corner three. That was definitely a foul. Look, though, first quarter is complete. 16-6 is the score. Jelly Fam's offense struggling to get going. We'll see if they can pick it up in the second. season boils down to one word bundle home and auto but that's four words not if you bundle them oh. bundling just another way to save with a personal price plan like a good neighbor state farm is there Welcome back to the second quarter and welcome to season three of OTE. We got eight teams from all across the country. You're checking out right now two of the best, Jelly Fan from New York City representing. Then you got RWE Cam Wilder's team based in Atlanta. But look, it's anyone's season. Last night we saw some awesome games. The City Reapers look like the team to beat right now, but we still got a lot of squads left to go. Eli Ellis, Nas Cunningham, Ian Jackson, Ja'Kai Howard, Trey Parker, Carter Knox, Jasim Bell and the Stars are in OTE. Can't wait for season three. Can't wait to see who wins it all. And look, this year we got a brand new thing. We got the Strictly Rankings. Eight teams, top to bottom at OTE. And I'm here with the founder and creator of it, Nolan. Look, you guys are known for your high school basketball knowledge. So far, though, you have RW number one. You have the City Reapers number five. What do you think of the ranking so far? The big thing is the City Reapers at five was a mistake. They came out looking like they saw the rankings. They looked like they wanted to prove something against the Cold Hearts. They played amazing. They're too low. That's all. The City Reapers are a really balanced team, but when you think about them, who do you think is the number one option on that squad? Because that's the thing I get confused about sometimes. That's really difficult. Um, I mean, BT is one of those guys where he's just a go get a bucket inside at any given moment. It's really tough. Maybe I'm kind of leaning in favor of BT, maybe. Okay, and cold heart. Go ahead. I was going to say, who do you think? Who do you think? On the City Reavers, I think they go as Jakaigos. If he's bringing the energy and everything like that, I think they're in good in good shape. Now, you saw the Cold Hearts last night beat RWE, then get absolutely throttled. I don't know what you do with them in the rankings. It's really difficult. I'm going to need to see how this game shakes out. and. Um, I'm excited for the new rankings. And who would you say is like the underdog team? Obviously, everyone talks about RWE, Cold Hearts, but who would you say is the one team that people aren't talking about that they should be? Probably the Diamond Doves. You know, they're a great, complete team. They play as a cohesive unit. Um, they got some great three-point shooters, and all around, they're just a solid team that you shouldn't sleep on. Yeah, they got, they're, ba they're based in Phoenix, and uh, they plan on shooting 50 to 60 threes a game, which we can't wait. Hey, good job on the first rankings. We can't wait to see what, we, what comes out next week. Strictly rankings with OTE. Agent, Dukes, uh, Cam, back to you guys. Thanks for that, Tom. Like any power rankings, it will change as the season goes on. Regular season is always going to be different than the preseason. Knox cross court. RWE looks strong, though. Had a good first quarter. Nate for three buckets. Now, if Nate can get that going, this team is going to be a problem. So when do Jelly Fam bring out, bring out the trap? Yeah. Oh, wow. More. Shooter's touch. 
Great question. Probably right now. I, I think they should bring it out right now. <laughs> this is when they did it last game in that second quarter. Okay, they brought it out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they got the trap coming out. D3, no. Not his, his shot is left right now. Yeah. It's been off so far this weekend. It's crazy because he dropped like 20 points yesterday, but that's like a that's like a mid-game for him. Nice there three. you go. Chop again hot, man. Yeah. Bullseye on your elbow is crazy. Quick steal. Jelly fam on the lay. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Big Nate. Hard to jelly around him. <laughs> hey. Oh, yeah, that was clean, right? Yeah, that's good. Way to not give up on the play, and that was Nate. From play previous. Big Nate, a 3 and D player. Why don't you look at that? Nice pass from the inbound. Block, though. Another block. Jelly fam, 10 seconds on the shot clock. Over to German. Bounce. It was a good pass. He just wasn't expecting it. And that trap defense is something different. You know they practice that. Cross court to Knox. Wide open three. No. Foul called. Jay Jack. A little too aggressive there playing defense. Get the ball. Go get the ball. Oh, start out. Start out. Start out. Eric. Eric. You go. You got German. him. Nice quick oh, shot. Yeah, Chopper's going crazy. Hey. He's on fire. Might need to Wait. keep going to him. Yes, we there. We there. Are you yeah, Knox on the oh. What a slam! Carter Knox! Go, go, go. Go, go. Wow. Yo! Yo! That was Yo, tough. Wait. Oh my! That's how you get going. And I think he just got in again. Chopper, man, he is. Hey, 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 keep going back to him. Hey! Chopper's a Syracuse commit. Yes. Little Carmelo get back in his game. Front. Get in front of him. Cross court. Rebound. Big Nate, can he do it again? Rebound! Yeah. Rims out. Hey, I think the dude who just got done no, no, just got in the game. That's tough. Euro! No, not quite. Missed that shot, too, RWE. Damn, you talked about how they play better when the tempo's higher on fast breaks. Hey, this is a good game. It was a close game so far. Yeah. The full court press got them back in the game. Yeah. They get us up. They get us up. They get us up. That's what happened last, like, literally yesterday as well. <laughs> That's crazy. Y'all be checking me on that. They killed that break. Yeah. Yesterday they checked me. Uh, Coach Way always needs to be mic'd up. He kicked it. Off his feet. No Pick kick. Ball called. Pick it up. Go hustle. Get on the floor. Stop out. You got to be Attack. careful diving, man. You might accidentally Wait. land on someone's ankle. Chopper. Chopper. That was a heat check right there. Three minutes, 44 left to go in the second quarter. 21 to 18, RWE up. Santo calling plays. What was that, an ISO or something? Because he did not, he did not look at a teammate again after play call. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's an ISO, ISO play for something though. Slam from a moment ago. Mm. Man, valiant effort, man, but you did end up on the poster, yeah, buddy. That's a head top. Yeah. Carter Knox, an absolute bucket. 
Most would consider him the best player in OTE right now. The good thing about OTE is all these players good shot, good shot. Yeah. These players get a chance to prove themselves. No, why are you leaving caught? He just left caught on that wide open. Oh. He, he, he waited. He, he, he. Yeah, he, it wasn't flow. It didn't flow right. Good pass. That's a tough pass, son. That's a tough pass. All the way. Close game. RWE cannot afford to lose this one, man. They cannot. If you want more OTE basketball, well, we got another doubleheader next weekend. Tune in to Prime Video to see Somto and RWE battle Big Ja and the City Reapers before Michael Brown Jr. and the Cold Hearts host Nas Cunningham's return to OTE with Rolling Loud on YouTube. It all begins December 8th at 7 p.m. Excited to see Nas Cunningham back. Where you at? I mean, it's been, a, I guess technically it was off season, but I feel like we saw a burst of greatness from Nas last season. I want to see what he looks like on this, on a new look team, man, rolling loud. Need to hit those free throws, man. Cam, what's your free throw percentage? I think about like 87, 88. Like in a game? Yeah, in a game. That's like legendary. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh. oh. Salto with one of the greatest blocks. Oh, my. I've had the glory of witnessing. I can't believe he tried that. I thought it was over for a second. I just held my breath. Bro, look at that. It, that look unreal. Like, oh, that was a foul. Yeah, that was a foul. Oh. I thought that was, it looked clean from my angle. Bro, if he would have. If he finished that. If he would have got that on something, though, that would have been a little crazy. That would have been a dunk of the year. But you know what? I like the confidence, though. Many, many wouldn't try that right there. That was tough. Yeah. Jelly fam. Ooh, both free throws again. Yeah, at least they got the rebound. I need to see another poster. Nice as he stepped back three. That was tough. Oh, kids. That was tough. Davis with it. Santo to Jay Jack. Drives, lay, and one. That was a great play. Just went straight into the contact. Can't hit the shot. Do you happen to know why JJ rocks uh, number 99? I don't. I feel like he told me, but I, I really don't know. That's a very unique number. At the free throw line, looking to convert. And does. Whistle blown, I think, uh, sub. Yeah, the sub was waiting to come in. First half action is coming to a close, but we got the State Farm halftime coming up next. There's highlights, locker room access, and we'll be answering questions from you, the fans. So get active in the chat, and we'll see you at halftime. How y'all feel about the game so far? It's, it's a good been game. a close one, right? It's a good game, yeah. yeah. It's looking like it can go either way. What a steal from German. I learned from his lesson last time. What the? <laughs> Unforced error from RWE. Jelly Fam three ball. They, they, they went on a good run. 
Yeah, Cam's pissed right now. <laughs> he didn't even say nothing. <laughs> he was just staring them down like. Davis, running that high pick and roll, nine seconds on the clock. Three. Oh, oh. ankle breaker. Whoa. Dead in the mixtape. Yep. He, he broke him. <laughs> yeah, he broke him. Yeah, I seen it firsthand. Now, info K is correct. Nah, <laughs> really, though. Nice lay. No, no. Nah, never mind. Take it back. RWE on a fast break. Two for one opportunity here. Corner three. No. Great hustle there. Mejia boxing out two RWE opponents, enemies, foes. Foes. Good defense. What a steal. Sutton is everywhere today. What a pass. Oh. oh. Nah, JJ, you got to finish those. That's what happens when, like, you're on an NBA Live dunk contest and you time it wrong. <laughs> you just hit the front of the rim and fall. Uh -huh. Sutton made that play happen. Great steal, great pass to set up his teammate. And then a foul was called on the play, so J. Jack will be shooting two free throws. Hits the first free throw. Teeing up for the second. And hits that one too. 10 seconds on the clock. First half winding down. Let's see if Jelly Fam can take the lead before they head to the break. Ian Jackson, two seconds, layup. He should have shot their three. We got one half back. No, RWE up one, 30 to 29. Cam, how you feeling about your, uh, your team so far? Um, I like the defense. I'll tell you what, I like the defense. The one point game a little too close for comfort, but you know, it's, I like the defense at the end of that first half. Do you feel like your team is playing differently? Oh, we got J-Jack on the line. J-Jack, how you doing, man? Good, how are you? Doing fantastic. Uh, how you feel about your team's performance so far this first half? Um, it's good. It's, we got to tighten up some things on defense, but other than that, I think we should be good. Uh, after the loss yesterday, uh, I think a lot of people were surprised, but what did you guys talk about doing differently coming into this one? Uh, our energy level, it was low yesterday. We got to pick it up today and show what we can do. All right, how many points you dropped by the end of this one? Uh, I'm a team player, so I don't really know too much. Oh, that's a beautiful answer. Great PR <laughs> answer, man. Appreciate you. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> All right, man. That's been the first half. 30 to 29 is the score. RWE up one. We'll catch you guys in halftime. There are trucks, then there's the truck, GMC Sierra. Available with the V8 engine. The Super Cruise hands-free driving experience. And of course, the world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate. GMC Sierra. Not just any truck, the truck. It started with an idea to make health and beauty simple for black men. With our salt good. Bevel gives us a sense of being elite and just feeling important. Bevel is to me being confident in an identity and an idea of self. That's one of the most important gifts. We're as committed today to always give you our best. Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments due to falling hydration levels. I used to go missing all the time. I let everyone down. I even let Shannon Sharp down. 
Um, yeah, you let me down. They've been told how you feel yourself doesn't matter. That electrolytes are all the same. Then just like that, they're gone. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Could be the difference between dominating and disappearing. Gatorade, rehydrate, replenish, refuel. Welcome to the OTE Halftime Show. We had a great first half. RWE's up 30 to 29 on Jelly Fan, but what a great game so far. I'm here with my man, Sniper Jones. Snipe, how are we doing? I'm doing good, man. Some amazing basketball at the beginning, man, and it looked like it's going to be coming down to the nail. Yeah, uh, way better than the last game. Without a doubt. Yeah, so we got RWE and Jelly Fam, two of my favorite teams. I think two of the more popular teams. RWE comes out to a big lead. We had Carter not dunking on someone's head. And then now Jelly Fam climbed back a little bit. How'd Jelly Fam get back in the game? Man, Jelly Fam got back in it. Main reason, Elijah Chopper Moore got into a groove. Exactly. Hit like three shots in a row. Letting the elbow speak. For a lot of people who don't know, the tattoo of a bullseye on his elbow. Letting people know he's one of the best shooters in the country. And of course, we got Ian Jackson. He started off hot, got a little slow. I'm expecting him to you know, pick it up after this half. Yeah, look, both these teams come in 0-1 after disappointing losses last night. So you knew that they were going to come in here trying to get the first win of the season at OTE and like you said Ian comes out hits a shot RWE and Jason Jackson who we just heard from played great but Jelly Fam they stayed in a lot of defense I, think. I mean RWE always got a chance to win everybody knows here at OTE talent wise they got the best roster here yep. that doesn't mean you're gonna win every game because you still got to go out there and play but this roster is meant to win a championship immediately I love seeing Choppa get hot because I think last week or a couple weeks ago we had him here at the takeover he was still getting used to it last yep. night. He was a little up and down. And finally tonight we see that for today he's having a great game. He's got 13 points, hit a bunch of shots. He starts talking a little bit. The Jelly Fam backcourt is really, should be the best backcourt maybe in all of OTE. Absolutely. I love seeing what opponent teams do in this building because they are not used to this atmosphere. A lot of people underestimate playing under these lights. The arena is packed. It's very tough for a lot of opponent teams, Tom. Right. And we're checking out Choppa's highlights right now. First of all, you like the nickname Choppa? Choppa might be the one of the toughest names. I mean, my name's Sniper, so, you, you know, I, I can definitely, got, I got a lot of love for Choppa. He actually put it on the show right now. He scored like four points, or well, four baskets in a row. 100%. We keep talking about the bullseye, which is on the left elbow. And I asked him, I was like, but why the left? Because you're a righty. And he was like, I don't, I don't talk. I don't mess with uh, you. Know, uh, no if you're doing all it. the damage with this one, you leave this one plain. I, I like that. Like yeah. a lot of shooters were like a shooter sleeve on a non-shooting arm. A lot of people just like to leave that shooting hand just as is. Totally. And look, RWE, they are up one, but still, I don't think they're playing up to their potential. Coach Frazier, probably not the happiest. Let's go check in with the RWE locker room. That are that 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 are far better than what they're showing, but they won't get out of their own way. I don't know if it's you don't care, you got a low IQ when it comes to basketball, or you just can't do it. There's other ways to impact the game than scoring, right? We, we got, you can rebound, you can defend, you can block shots, steals, you can do all types of stuff. But, Nate, you and Carter, man, I, I don't know what else to tell y'all right now. What are we from three, y'all? What are those two from three? Just let's go with that part. What are we? RWE and Coach Frazier. Obviously, Coach isn't. He's not ecstatic with how things are going. Yeah, he said he's getting in their own way and not going to agree. So many points that was left on the table from them not making that extra pass or just being a little bit clumsy with the ball. If they can clean up some of these things, they obviously got a better chance of winning the game. I really don't know what they're missing because they have, first of all, they're massive. They probably have the tallest team in all of OTE, yeah. huge front line. They have the best leader in Quan, probably the best scorer in Carter. I, I just don't know what's missing so far in the regular season. Well, I don't think anything's missing. If anything, just a, some of the smaller things usually blow up to be big at the end of the game, right? Right? And one thing I got to say, shout out Jay Jack for yep. getting back on the right track. He kind of had a slow preseason coming into this. He was a big time player, right? De just decommitted from Ole Miss. The world is his. He can really go anywhere in the country, and he's balling today. Awesome. And of course, Coach Frazier and, and all of our WWE, but Coach Frazier specifically, he was a big uh, person in our one shot docu in docu series, which aired on Amazon Prime Video. Let's check in a little, a little thing here on, on One Shot, my favorite show in the world. Wow, wow, wow. If you haven't seen it yet, you must 
even if you have seen it, honestly, go check out One Shot on Prime Video, best show in the world. Second half coming up right now. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Peace. I don't know Jake from State Farm. But just imagine my homes and my auto. Best bond in the league, baby. Man, why can't Patrick change his name? It could be Kelsey and Kelsey, how much you can save by bundling home and auto. Yeah? If you make the letters smaller. My homes, my auto, let's go. Come on, my auto, let's get it. Put your jersey on. Bundling, on. just another way to save with the personal price plan. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. There are trucks, then there's the truck, GMC Sierra. Available with the V8 engine. The Super Cruise hands-free driving experience. And of course, the world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate. GMC Sierra. Not just any truck, the truck. Welcome back to second half action here in second game of a doubleheader. I'm your host, Agent Zero, joined by my co-host, Duke Dennis. Yes. We got Cam in the building. Yo. 30 to 29 is the score. It's been a close affair. RWE, I guess everyone kind of had them as number one in the power rankings after their dominant wins during the preseason. But Cam, how do you feel about their performance so far at this game here? So far, they look good. Um, Carter obviously starting off a little bit slow again, just like yesterday. But we got other people picking up like Darion, J. Jack, uh, Santos being aggressive down low. So we'll see how they, uh, you know what I'm saying, get back with it in the second half. Do you feel like RWE can win without Knox being dominant? I think they surrounded him with some good pieces. Um, Samto, Big Nate, J. Jack, Quan. They got a lot of players. Sutton, of course. Um, they, they definitely have a great surrounding team around Knox. And Duke, Jelly Fam is, is in this one. I mean, they were in and out of the last game as well, but what do they do to take the lead here and take control? Uh, right now, they score mostly from three pointers. They shoot 50% from the, uh, from the field, three, three point. And I think if they just add, you know, in the paint points, I think they might be able to take it. A little bit of variety. Yeah, a little variety. Right now, they're just living and dying by the three. Yep. Davis to Knox inside. Santo, no call is nuts. Yeah, that was a little insane, but you know, whatever. Warren, nice move, even better pass. Moore is on fire in the first half. It's hard to score in the paint when you got Sompto down there and Big Nate. Yeah, even if he doesn't block the shot, he'll change the way, he'll change your movement. Oh, uh, we, got, we need those. We need those right there. Yeah, Davis blew the layup there. Knox tipped it, not able to maintain control. I want to see who gets off into an early lead this quarter, man. Low key, a low scoring game. Yeah. Low key. Could just be shaking off some rust, but they played yesterday. Seventeen foot shot, no tipping. Mabil Mahouts. Sampto to Jay Jack, drives, floater doesn't go. Fighting for the rebounds. Jelly Fam come up with it. Warren, quick three, no. Nothing offensively. A little bit of a slow start this first half. Up to Sopto! Right there, right there. Alley-oop! Breaking them going. Great pass, no cap. It's like trying to grind your mic player. <laughs> That's the play. Can't leave him open. He coming off screens like Curry, too, the whole game. Nate. Nate was trying to ISO, believes he got hit in the hand. Frustrated by the no call. Believes. 
And he might not have. It might have just been a bad move. <laughs> nice pick and roll. From <laughs> some though, bro. Bro, <laughs> some though so valuable, bro. This is crazy. And it knocks. Knox trying to get himself going over to Davis. Mitty, no, Davis on his own rebound. Way to hustle. Sorry. Those are important plays, man. Yeah, if they don't want the rebound, might as well take it. Ian Jackson over to Amanu. Yeah, that was yep. a moving screen. Charge called. Moving a little too much, man. It was the alley oop to Santo. You're watching the Spurs play this year? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> they just throw it up to him. Wimby? Yeah. JJ. Wide open corner three. JJ came to hoop. Yeah. yeah. Full court pass. Ian Jackson. He keeps it. <laughs> he wanted that ISO. He saw a big Nate on him, wanted to take advantage. JJ has been playing great these past two games. Yeah, I feel like he's a real consistent guy, man. Yeah. Like, you know what you're going to get out of him, like, night in, night out. Jack yeah, Frost. Yeah, you need players like that. Give me oh, my. Tom <laughs> with a big swat. Looks like we got Tom at the sideline. Tom, what's going on? Thanks, Asia. I'm down here with Coach Frazier, RWE. Talk to me about the first half a little bit. Um, a little slow, a little sluggish. Saw some bright spots from guys that came off the bench. Jason Jackson was giving us good minutes. Sumpto got us started early by, you know, keeping everybody out the lane, trying to get uh, Carter and, and Nate going right now. I got to get them going on defensive end. Hopefully it turns into some positive things on the offensive end. So. And you mentioned Jason Jackson. I feel like he's brought the spark off the off the bench. What's, he, what's exactly he's doing for the team? Um, just giving us energy, man. Attacking downhill, not selling, hitting the shots, not trying to overdo it, man. So he's... It's coming into what we really want him to be coming off the bench. So he's a good six man right now. Jelly Fam doing anything you weren't expecting? Not at all. Seeing it all yesterday, seeing it again today. They're going to compete. They're going to stay with it. Let's go. All right, Coach. Go the rest of the way. Back to you guys. Love that attitude. Davis Santo pick and roll. Spin move midi. Good defense there. Foul call, though. OTE Basketball will be back on Prime next Friday. High Flyer Ja'Kai Howard and the Seed Reapers look to slow down the best scorer in the nation, Carter Knox, and his RWE squad. Tune in December 8th at 7 p.m. Eastern time to watch it all go down only on Prime Video. I'm waiting for Carter to have that breakout game. I need to see like 40 or something. We have yet to see 30 this season, so. Someone got to do it. Jason Jackson with 13 points so far this game. Ooh. It's a good shot by Quan. Or my fault. Dale Quan. Knox almost loses it. Maintains control, mid-range shot. That was tough. Santo on the rebounds, fighting for it. Goes up, no. Jelly fam, get it. Pushing the tempo. Ian Jackson. And one. Oh. That'd be a flagrant. I don't know. Is that a basketball play? Yeah, I think that's what they're discussing right now. Referees getting together. Because I didn't see him go for the ball. Oh, they must have thought it was a basketball play. Yeah, they're going to call it a common foul. First free throw, Ian Jackson hits. It's quiet tonight, man. Only four points. Yeah, I'm surprised. Quiet yesterday, too. I'm trying to see the eruption. 
Jelly Fam are gonna need him. Yeah, we know what he, we know what he can do. Second free throw hits. One point game. Jelly Fam doing that trap defense they're known for. Knox loses it. Foul called. <laughs> if Santo touches the ball, and they just get to hacking. <laughs> He's getting it out of his hands. There's no key a free guaranteed dunk if they don't. Yeah, I guess you have no choice when you don't have, like, someone to match your size. Knox, ball gets poked loose. Nate gets it, though. Another foul called on Bill. Bill's wingspan is crazy. I just seen that. That's nuts. That's like max wingspan 2K character. Davis on the drive, loses it. Good defense. We're gonna push the tempo. Ian Jackson. Oh! Why do I keep trying soft though, man? It's not, it's not gonna happen, man. <laughs> Hold on, it's starting to get chippy. It's starting to get chippy. Amanu is talking. A little reckless, man. Make his case to two referees here. Tom is just watching them too. Tom's looking for the T. I'm watching. <laughs> What's the issue? <laughs> Tom, you're so nosy. Oh, uh, Santo talking a little bit after that block. Oh, he, he got mad. Oh, he was talking. First free throw from a Bill Hits. Amanu is like, he's been talking a lot this game. Him and, him and Samto have been going back and forth a little bit. Tie ball game. A Bill Mawood's only starter that's not a senior. A lot of potential. Misses the second free throw, though. Jake Jack. Too good. Yeah, that's it. Oh, 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 oh. That was tough. Man, that's impressive. Jake Jack look good, bro. He looking good out there, bro. He's looking like the star of the team. Yeah, he is. Ian Jackson, three ball. Man. Too hard. Yeah. Amadou is like one more foul away from. <laughs> Here was a play from a moment ago. Oh, double dribble. <laughs> he did. Oh, my. I got to see another angle. Uh, he double. Oh, he doubled oh, crazy. He did. That was a bad. How you missed that as the ref? You sitting right there. Honestly, I didn't see it either. Tie ball game, nice mini there. Davis. No more. And he's had the hot hand here today. Back to Ian Jackson. Nice move. Mid-range shot goes. That was tough. Something to barely threw it. Barely got it. Knox, mid-range shot over the defender. No. He's looking for the call there. Full court pass to Ian Jackson. Quarter three, buckets. Oh. <laughs> Team hyping him up. Ian Jackson coming alive a little bit here in the third quarter. Cam, you're really quiet over there. What you thinking about? 
Just thinking. Life, huh? Yo. Just thinking. That's what it is. Just thinking. Yo, 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 listen, we better listen. figure this out and figure it out listen, quick. Listen, listen. Because they finna get shipped, they don't figure it out. <laughs> listen, now, now. now There's we Ian Jackson, the move from woman to go. High pickup? Ooh, that's so listen, tough. We're we gonna get back. That's like listen, the equivalent of like a quarterback just barely me. getting that ball in there. Lock up. Keep the mind of the paint. Hey, let's listen to Coach P's huddle. Everybody got me? Now, we looking like ourselves. Now we finish. Guys, when we gotta give them rebus, I need the same energy. Everybody got me. Understand where we from. It ain't easy. The hard way is the way we want it. Everybody got me? Let's go. Same thing. We ain't stopping. Water break, let's go. Man, I'm about to say that's a coach I want to play from. Yo, I was, doing, I was doing some interviews for TikTok uh, for OTE Socials like a few weeks ago. And the RWE characters, oh, hold on, we got Tom with a quick interview before the game goes on, Tom. Tom, how we doing? Great second half so far. How's the team feeling? We're feeling good. Got energy. We here, we're ready to play. Wait, can we see the bullseye real quick? So, what's so, going Who came up with that idea? Me. I was, I was trying to figure a way how to finish my sleeve. And I was like, I need something to put an elbow. Everybody gets spider webs and certain things. So I was like, I'll put the bullseye because I'm chopper. RWE talking a lot of trash to you guys? I mean, yeah, they talking trash. Internet, everything. Yeah, I'm there, I'm there. So they talking, that's what they do, but we're here. You say I'm from New York. Back to you guys. Thanks for that, Tom. RWE is so confident uh, preseason, man. All them wins. And yeah, they're not playing like they're that same team right now. Like you would have thought. I don't know. I think that's just a mental hurdle, maybe. Wow. Oh, and it counts. So. That was tough. Hey, I'm not going to lie. They needed it. Yeah. Hopefully that can get him going. Yeah, if we, if we get Knox going and, and Carter going, Ian, Ian, I mean, Ian Jackson. Then they go toe to toe. And they start going shot for shot. And they start defending each other. Gonna be in for a good finish. <laughs> and it comes down to the wire now. <laughs> <laughs> Hot toe is just everywhere, man. See how he popped that rebound. You love to see that. Oh, hold on. Hey, what? Hey. It's about time referee threw a tag. They double tag. Awful call. Yeah, yeah. Santo literally put his hands up and didn't do that. Santo couldn't have been more reserved. Yeah, so, so no foul. You got a jump ball. And first. Okay. But then we got dead ball technical fouls on both players. Three man, that's nuts. and two. Let's count. Let's count. Yeah, that's a bad one, man. Yeah. Santo had his hands up the whole time. He wasn't we even got, talking. We got dead ball technical fouls on three blue and two black. You know, Jeff Van Gundy said. Both of them get the technical foul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, that Excuse explains. Excuse me, Mr. Fisher, what were they doing? <laughs> uh, well, after the held ball situation, Santo brings his right hand down and hits him in the head. Okay. In the face, so that's the first technical. Okay. And then uh, the, the, re the response to that, number three, pushes him in the chest. Okay, I'm sorry. No fighting. No fighting. Okay, good. Back to you guys. Hey, I want to apologize. I didn't I'll, see that. I'll apologize to the referee. I'll, I'll, I'll that apologize. Hit. And it went, went from an awful call to a good call, man. My yeah. bad, Mr. Ref. Yeah, gravity's not that strong, man. <laughs> hey. hey, this might be a little rivalry we got going on. Great call by the referees, man. Double T's. Knox driving right. Oh, okay. Way to reject the screen. He's so quick, man. Oh. Three point game. Jelly Yo, Fam is up. Zipper. You saw that? I zipped up my zipper, looked up, and saw I think I RWE me. might just be fighting expectations at this point. They need to start playing their. Yeah, Yo. as a team, man. I was zipping my zipper up. Walking back, I looked up. Now, looking up back at season two now, it's, it's almost up. like impressive that the City Reapers <laughs> really only dropped one game because we were expecting them to win every single time. Like, nobody was betting against the City Reapers. Yeah. 
But we got to load up. We haven't seen much Darion Sutton in this uh, third Cut. quarter. Yeah, a little yeah, super fire. surprise after that great first half he had. Knocks down the free throws. Aha, aha, aha. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> Jimmy Pam up one. Three ball. Nope. Front rim. Davis. Over to Knox. I like that, Knox. I like that the whole lot. Knox with 13. Ten seconds left on the shot clock, and the quarter for that matter. Jelly Fam down one. Chance to take the lead here before heading into the fourth. Floater! And it goes! That was tough. Yeah. That was tough. Very tough. Chopper going crazy. <laughs> Can't count. Oh. Stepped out of bounds. Referees might have missed that. And then the floater from a moment ago. 48-47, Jelly Fam is up one. Fourth quarter, coming up next. It started with an idea to make health and beauty simple for black men. It's our soccer. Bevel gives us a sense of being elite and just feeling important. Revel is to me being confident in an identity and an idea of self. That's one of the most important gifts. We're as committed today to always give you our best. Coach, Jake from State Farm. Well, Patrick, it's official. You saved with home and auto insurance. You're the league's most valuable bundler. MVB? Me? He's surprised. Man, I just did not see this coming. This is truly unexpected. I'm gonna start locking this place up. Mm -hmm. Hey, you done? Bundling, just another way to save with a personal price plan. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. I'd like to take this time right here to shout out the Adidas Six fan, Temeskin Techie from Lil Burn, Georgia. Temeskin's favorite OTE team is RWE, and his favorite player, none other than Jay Jack. Temeskin, appreciate you, man. Love for being a super fan of OTE. We got him with Tom right now. Thanks, Agent. I'm down here with Temeskin. Did you know it's Temeskin's 15th birthday? Happy birthday, man. How are you doing? I'm doing good. You saying happy birthday to you? Nah, maybe later, maybe later. What do you think of the game so far? I think it's good. I think RW's going to win. They're not playing. They're playing OK. Yeah. Um, it's a close game, but I think they're going to come out with a W. And who's your favorite player on RWE? Uh, J. Jack. You say that, but Cam Wilder, he's listening right now. Do you think he should make any trades? He, he, he does decide the roster here. Uh, I think he should, he should, he should add, um, uh, add Trey Parker. Trade, trade J-Jack or Trey Parker? No, 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 no. No, keep J-Jack. Trade anybody for a like Jakaya or... All right, fair enough, fair enough. What's the one thing you asked for for your birthday? Any presents? Huh? Any presents that you asked for your birthday? Like shoes. shoes. Get you some shoes. Get you some Adidas shoes. Six man of the game. Temeskin, happy birthday, man. Have a good one. Appreciate you. Back to you guys. What a, what a good kid. Man. Happy birthday to him, but he sounds a little indecisive, man. We got to watch out for him. I don't know. <laughs> Knox with it. RWE down one here. Whoa, no foul call? David been fouling all game. Hey! Way to push the ball, get an easy bucket. He doesn't come much easier than that. Jay Jack. Spamming pick and rolls here. Santo comes down with it and goes right back up. I told you it's an easy. Come on, every yeah. time they don't foul him. Every single time. Santo. RWE, it would be heartbreaking if they lose another close game. 
Oh. Yeah, don't go up on that. Yeah, no. that's this so, this so, this so cool. Samto with another block. Davis thought about it. Corner three, J. Jack, no. Full court pass. Ian Jackson for three. Air. Carter Knox pushing the tempo. Euro. <laughs> they are playing their hearts out. Chance to take the lead, man. <laughs> it's like, there's a play from a second ago. Santos standing dunk got to be like a 90. Uh, he just goes up with everything. You basically have to hack him. I don't even know if that was a foul. Knox at the line. He's been hitting all his free throws. Got a good stroke. At the line. <sighs> <It's, Bye>. yeah. <laughs> yeah, they got a they got a drone in here as well. I wonder what shot that is. Knox hits a second. Right. 15 point game for Knox. 14, 15. <laughs> Mejia over to Ian Jackson. Good drive. Ian Jackson with a nice stop. lay. Oh my God. RWE looking to get back. Carter Knox. Uh oh. Minutes. He could go for 40. Ian Jackson calling for it. Another drive. Lay. Man, that was sent to the fifth row. That was a tough lay by Ian Jackson. Acrobatic. Oh, sir. Ooh. Only so much you can do when you got, like, a whole bunch of big men trying to chase down your shot. Corner three. No, Knox pushing the tempo here. Fast break. Bounce pass, Davis. Nope. Slow it down, seven seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Davis. They get another rebound, but lose it. They step out of bounds. And Jelly Fan will maintain possession. Timeout called by Jelly Fan. They want to talk things over. Down two. A little under nine minutes left to go in this one. Let's listen in on the huddle with Coach Pete. Jordan, you up. Randell. Eric Mejia. Ian, you back. Iomi, everybody got me. Me and 12 back in the school, 23 matchup. Everybody got me. Everybody got me. If, I, if you don't know it, you gotta sit down. Let's go. Let's go. Defense on three. One, two, three. Now we're not hitting them. If you throw it up, you will get it back. Throw it up and get it back. Everybody understand that. We got lob threats. When we're dribbling, we're over dribbling. Doing what? Taking tougher shots. We got higher percentage shots. Defensively, y'all cannot lose your assignment, fellas. You cannot lose your assignment. Let's go. Guy him back there behind you. You gotta press it up. Can't be easy. Catch we go. Stop, stop. Let's go. Let's go. Go, go. Hurry up. Let's go. Go. All right, we see the coaches talking to their team. That's that drone shot, by the way. That's a live shot. That's nuts. It's a wireless drone flying around. Technology is crazy. Nerd. 54 52, <laughs> man. Under nine. <laughs> Under nine minutes left to go. Mejia. Trying to make a move to the basket. Spin. Uh -huh. Not quite. Trying to, try to change 300 to 3,000. <laughs> <laughs> we got Tom with a vibe cam. Tom, what's good? Thanks, fellas. I'm down here with Doug Paul Warren, guard on Jelly Fam. Game's pretty intense right now, going back and forth. How you been out here? I mean, this is going great. We're just trying to keep everybody fresh. So we got we out right now. We just waiting to go back in to 
finish the game. And you're brand new to Jelly Fam, your first season on the team. What's it been like being on this squad playing for Coach Pete? I mean, it just way, it feels like a family, like my last school really wasn't like a family, so I feel like this is more like everybody's together, like we're a fist. Love that. And you're obviously matched up against Daquan Davis, another top point guard. Have you guys ever played against each other? You guys have kind of similar games. I mean, yeah, we both like two-way players, but I never played against them, though, no. Tough matchup? Yeah, definitely tough matchup. You guys going to pull out a win here? For sure, for sure. I think we got it. All right, Delquan Warren, guard for Jelly Fan, back to you guys. Thanks for that, man. I mean, yeah. Shit is going great. They're down. What? <laughs> You're going great, man. <laughs> down in the fourth. <laughs> hey, that's some happy to be here attitude, which is like low key good. It's gratitude. Yeah, of course. At the same time, though, you got to be a little hungry when you're down. I, I want to hear, like, I'm miserable because I'm down right now. I'm not going to be happy until I win. If I'm, if I'm Jelly Fam, are you doing the, the press or what? Am I doing the what? Are you pressing? Yeah, I think I would. But not the entire time, though. Just switch it up. Because they'll get used to it after a while. The shot doesn't go. Uh, Davis. Oh, no, no foul. No foul. No foul. Not foul on the shot. No call. Good hit. He's holding his hand, actually. Big man trying to cook up in the low post. German has it. Four seconds on the clock for Jelly Fam. Down four, they're gonna need a bucket. Nah. I like that shot. Ooh. It'll look unnecessary, but I like it. <laughs> Jordan Skyers. Jelly Fam with a steal. Skyers got it. Hey, the ball's coming right to me, man. Just let it go. I got it. All right, guys. Looks like we're going to break. The score is all tied up. RWE, Jelly Fam. We'll be back. We'll be right back after the break. Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments through the falling hydration levels. I used to go missing all the time. I let everyone down. I even let Shannon Sharp down. Um, yeah, you let me down. They've been told how you feel yourself doesn't matter. That electrolytes are all the same. Then just like that, they're gone. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Could be the difference between dominating and disappearing. Gatorade, rehydrate, replenish, refuel. Let's check out the cash app lockdown of the game. Love to see the good defensive plays be highlighted. None other. <laughs> hey, Nate lost the ball. Man, he got back, sent him into the nether. That's hustle right there. That's the cash app lockdown of the game. Tie ball game, seven minutes left. Cam will actually go into a depression if RW loses. <laughs> so, they got something play. like that. I think they will too, though. The they were basically bragging that they're the best team ever. Yeah, people were coming to my chat, like, you see RW choke? I was like, dude, I commentated the game. So, you know, the internet can be ruthless. In all reality, it's not, they're not even playing bad, they're just not playing to the sky high expectations. Yeah, I think everybody had for him. Knox, spin move, loses it. German with it. Way to slow it down. Half court set, run a play. Nah, that three was crazy. Moore has it. And he's been hot so far today. Foul called on Nate. Hand checking. I'm glad referees still call that, man. I, I hate when people hand check. 
as a non-athletic guy. As a non-athlete, I hate it. Guys, check. Yeah, like when I'm playing basketball, I'm like, bro, if you can't stay in front of me, just say that. Right, right, right. I'm so you, slow. How am I beating you off the dribble? Right, right, right. I was gonna say I never heard you say it. Before. I'll do it though. Like if 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 it's being done to me. Oh. War has been on fire. He got 22 of them things. Yeah, he does. Davis inside to Knox. Out, Nate. Three. No. Knox on the rebounds. Going up with it. Tough move. Just a big, big move. Hey, Cam. Don't even worry about it, man. I watched my Raptors blow a 30-point lead to the Bulls this season. And the Bulls uh, 30's crazy. Yeah. In the fourth quarter, too. Oh. Chopper put the elbow at him. Boom. Imagine getting a three hit in your face. Someone put the elbow on you. And the el elbow in the bulls <laughs> now. I definitely that is have crazy, though. Knocks at the line. Yeah, great free throw shooter. 61 61. Hey, something got to give, man. It's been a close game this whole time. Nice bounce pass. But Bill, back out. Eight seconds. Ooh. Ooh a little shifty. Fell. Loses it. Tried to do a little too much, maybe. Knox over to Davis. thing is on the ground. Definitely one of the best games we done had this season. Yeah, I'm hoping for a game winner at the buzzer. An eruption. Contested. Fade away from three. Okay. Yeah, I got a vision. Big bonus here for RWE, 5v4 advantage. 14 seconds on the clock. They're looking to get going, we're waiting on something. Maybe a sub? Nah, just positioning, Mejia. Yep. RWE with the big bonus here. Knox in and out. Nate has it. Five seconds. Oh, I like that. Pat. Wide open. Money. That's a big shot. Hey, Carter Knox trying to turn it up, man. Skyers for three. Got to get back. back. Defense, man. Uh, Got to get back. Get hey, oh, a steal. Oh. He, he deserved a win. He deserved a win this right here. Cross court. Davis contested three. No. He held on to something. Yeah. Loose ball foul. Trying to pick up a little bit here. <laughs> Scoring as well. 67-64. That's a lazy error from our yep. WWE. That was the the game, I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, never mind. Knox ducked on uh, that one guy. Oh, yeah, Carter Knox ducks. Hard to be maybe a little too relaxed, man. We need that energy that Ja'Kai was bringing with the City Reapers in game one of the doubleheader. Big bonus here. Nate. Man, he got blocked. That's how the last game is. <laughs> he got blocked by German. <laughs> Chaos 
I can't. I don't think that was a smart shot. Yeah. <laughs> Knox. No. There we go. Put back. Hey, Knox is really starting to turn it up, man. Oh, man. Samso fouled my bill. Hey, he's starting to get physical. Offense starting to pick up. And it's a one point game. Mobile at the line. Mobile participated in NBA Africa. I'm glad they're having programs out there in Africa, man. So much talent out there, they just don't have scouts and opportunities the way a lot of athletes here do. I feel like the game is becoming a little bit more global, man. Players from all over the world dominating. Ah, uh, he needed those. Yeah, as I said, all those positive things. He's <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> it's just ruining it. RWE, Samto has it over to Knox. Eight seconds. Uses the screen, loses it though. Wow, I think it was off Knox. Yeah, referee overrode the call. Ian Jackson has it now. Kicks it, corner three. No. Sutton. Oh, Push man, the tempo. Easy. Knox for three. Sutton on the rebounds. No. Oh, Clean up crew. Fantastic <laughs> game. Let's keep it going. Another lead change. Ian Jackson with oh, it. Broke a <laughs> Crossover. Step back, Mitty. That's pro. No, hey, nah. That's pro. That was. Oh my God. Hey, nah. You saw how much space he got, though? That's a flop. That's a flop. Oh, Damn. come on. Man. That's a flop. I just don't think we That's a late. Those. That's just late. That's late. Three minutes in the game. The miss by Sud. The cleanup by Samto. All right. Oh. That's such a clean move. There was man. so much space, though. Like, he got so much space, bro. Warren with it. Jelly fam going toe-to-toe -to -toe versus the team that's leading the league in the power rankings right now. Ian Jackson misses everything. Full court, Knox. Referee called it back. There's no quick inbound under four minutes, so they got to wait for the referee to hand him, hand him the ball. Jelly fam, shout out to them, man. Yep. They are fighting here today. I will say this, though. If RWE lose, they no longer no more. And yeah. they number four. Wow, <laughs> all the way to four? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they, they definitely not one, two, or three. Like, nah, can't, you not can't. with an 0-2 record. Yeah, yeah, you can't be. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. There we go. Sutton! Man, there's a whole bunch of almost this game. Good foul, though. Yeah, anybody but Knox, man. Just get Knox off that free throw line if you're a Jelly fan. That was a good foul. Yeah, it was. It was a three from earlier. You want more OTE basketball? Well, we got another doubleheader next weekend, man. Tune in to Prime Video to see Samto and RWE battle Big Ja and the City Reapers before Michael, Br Michael Brown Jr. in the Cold Hearts host Nas Cunningham's return to OTE with Rolling Loud on YouTube. It all begins December 8th at 7 p.m. Missed right. both free throws, man. Yeah, needed those. Two minutes left in this one. That's super unfortunate, I must say. You know, 
I, I don't know what our expectations is from Carter Knox, but he has 26 points, and he's turned it up the second half. RWE still. Oh, my Lord. Boom. Lord have mercy. Ian Jackson is now in the game, and he is ready. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, it's not looking good. Yeah. So Ian's hot, and it ain't looking good. 75 to 68. Man, I'm about to be 0 and 4 in predicts. I'm retiring. <laughs> I'm 1 and 3, man. Yeah, it might be cooked for you. <laughs> it's just so much like, who would have thought games, man? Who would have thought? Yeah. Ian Jackson. Let's listen to the RWE's huddle. This is the press win. Darion on the ball. You're here, Juan. Jack, you're here. Who else I got? B, you're here. You're back here. Got it, Carter. Man, we're, this is what we're doing on defense. Where guards are getting killed on the ball screens, and everybody else is standing there looking at them. Nobody's hedging. Fucking down, man. Where's your pride? Where's your pride? Where's it at? Who, who, now, who wants the ball now? Nobody worried about that. You, you gotta get stops. My, hey, Iverson. You out. Watch your bass. Coach heated. As he should. Hey, as he should. Rightfully so. Go through. Knox got it. That's the man you want with the ball. See what he does with it. Oh, it's cooked. Man, yeah. Coach might clothesline somebody next. It might be cooked. I don't think he made an attempt to actually catch it. Was it coming too fast? Like, what happened right there? You know what? Doesn't even matter. Coach Way about to have a celebration. Look at us walking on defense, y'all. Gary on. Warren, nice hezzy. Oh, <laughs> Manu. Wow. And just like that, it's a nine point game. One minute Stop, 43 go. left to go. Go. Slip, slip, B. Hey, slip. Oh, no. I think I know the problem. What's that? I allow what you say? individuals to influence my, Thank you. <laughs> my, you know, yeah. my judgment. Thank you. You know, walking in, walking into I'm the OTE arena, and all I heard was, oh, my God, oh, my God. That's what it was. You know, and it's that right. kind of like, because Yo, usually I wouldn't even be this, this like, sold on the team already. It's, it's you know, it's game, day two. I wouldn't be this sold on the team already, but I allow myself to be influenced. You know, peer pressure is the most dangerous thing in the it, world. It is, it's real man. dangerous. Real hey, dangerous. it's the most dangerous thing in the world. And if you allow it to, you know what I'm saying, overcome you, hey, we're in our press. you're going to be Gary, in Duke you got Dennis, Cam Wilder, Agent up, Double Low Zero back. situation where up, you own it all. Skip, look over, skip. Hey, look, Boy, it's not a cook yet because it's a seven point game. It's only three possession game, man. If they let Moore score here, though, it's fully cooked. Hey! Red, red, red. I mean, regular, regular, regular. 77-70. RWE, just give it ball to Knox, man. ISO. Maybe. Get up. Ian Jackson red. got it. He's Some been hot. I don't like this right here. I don't like this. I Go think, move. I think. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Do that. Offensive you interference do that. called. Oh. But if I'm not mistaken. Touched. It's allowed we because we're playing play FIBA rules. I see it. So I think the referee yeah, must have thought this was the NBA. And just like that, it's a round. Yep, the bucket counts 79 70. Go, go, come on. That was going in anyway. Yeah, it was. You know, you what, I you know, you know what I don't like right Where now? Go, Not should have been going in. Not should have been going in. Sutton going for it. Santo got it. Foul. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's what you want, though, man. You want to get points while the clock is stopped. Hey, get together! Yo, you on the ball? Hey, you on the ball? Chill. 
Man, at this point, Yo, you don't know who to who, you don't know who to go for. <laughs> yeah, like, bro, you press with your body. Jelly fam just upset. R W. Yo. Nobody in this whole arena except Jelly Fam thought that would have happened. Yeah, I don't even know if Jelly Fam thought they were going to do it because they were talking about how the game was going great while they were down. Hey, but look, though. Bitch, shout out to Jelly Fam. Shout out to Jelly Fam. Yeah, they fought for that. <laughs> shout out to Jelly Fam. I'm sorry. I apologize. But see, I'm a grown man, and I can take accountability. Man, that's good stuff. Oh, Free throws get it, get hit the back it. rim. Let's go. Wait, wait, 40. RWE Good. trap defense, Santo foul Warren. It's hey, it's uh, like yo. RWE is not losing Solo. physically. They're Solo. losing, they've lost mentally. They're not there, man. It takes like a, takes like a yep, mental yep, resilience. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> It takes like some mental resilience to like yeah, camp and face palming all quarter. Oh man. <laughs> now coach emptied out the bench? Hold on. Oh, oh okay. Hey, you just need bottle flipping, man? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ten points. Yeah. Davis with it. All right, man. Oh man, see. Oh, dude, do something crazy. Oh wait, wait. Travel call yeah, on yeah, a he fast did, break. He, he did. He did take. Oh, that's him. That's him. Davis got it. No, no, okay, okay. And this is no, no count. This is the tenth time I've seen it today. In the same exact spot. Hey, RWE, you you gotta be disappointed in this performance because the expectations were so much higher. Knox with 26 points. It's just he got 26 points, but he haven't scored in what? In a few minutes, he's actually been having a pretty good fourth quarter. He's been quiet the past few minutes, though. Right. Right. But honestly, they've been throwing doubles at him. Yeah, but that's when that's when you that's when you go to somebody else, like like Davis, but, you know, Sutton, you know. You're right. And things of that nature. Man, rebound though after the miss, needed. All right, let's pass that. Okay, good, good shot, Sutton. Good shot. Hold on, wait, and then it's steal, and then it's steal. Wait for it. Man, he done fumbled it, man. Man, that was their chance. A three there, and they're back in it. He probably got nervous. No, did not. Oh, risky pass. Yeah, off Crawford's hands. Why he look like that, bro? I just seen you touch him. <laughs> I literally just seen you touch him. You ain't just standing right here. <laughs> <laughs> Man, seven point game. Uh, it was a play. That would have been that would have been out. Hey, look at him. I think he was he was <laughs> no, I think no he was just surprised though. like he I, I think he was no accountability. He did he did. Hey, but look though, I don't expect him to stay here. You know what I'm saying? Like have y'all seen that commercial where uh um, <laughs> yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the dude came over and said, Coach, I right, touched it. <laughs> you go, you go. <laughs> hey. hey, coach, I touched it. Yeah, coach. I hit it. I think they go, hey, 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 I think it's heavily implied that they go on to lose. <laughs> it's heavily implied that hey. they go on to lose that game. Hey, man. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Stop it, man. <laughs> That's crazy. Jelly fan with the ball up seven. It would take a choke of monumental proportions here. But if you remember yesterday, RWE was down. They caught up last minute and they lost it. 
Cam, how do you feel about being 0 2 opening weekend? This is what I'm going to say, man. Chat, I know we 0 2. I know we 0 2. But don't, don't, start, don't start jumping on bandwagons now, all right? We'll, we'll, we'll get it together. But 0 2 hurts, man. We're supposed to be number one. I said 18 0. They're making me look bad. I'm making predictions. Yeah. 18 0, now we 0 2. Do you, uh, do you feel like, do you feel like Duke was right? Like they should be fifth on a power ranking? That I say four. I said four. Fourth. Maybe fifth. Not to bump them fifth. Give him a wake up call. Put them low. You need like a motivational speaker that's what it is to the locker room. Yeah. You need Coach Prime. No, literally. I'm going to hire Dion for a, for a little bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, Coach Prime losing too. I mean. <laughs> yeah, but there's a reason why he's losing. Like, RDV is full of talent. Like, Coach Prime's not going to change the whole program in one year. I think Coach Prime needs to recruit more linemen. Yep. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, like, you're right. It's just hard to do that when you're losing. Okay. Wait now. Wait. Wait now. Quick three. Foul. Count. Look, I believe in miracles, man. I don't. I just can't be, I can't be 0-4. It's impossible. You are, though. I'm 1-3, nah. so listen, bro. Since we all, like, you 0-4, I'm 1-3, like, that just goes to show you how, like, versatile the league is right now. It's not yeah. just one powerhouse team who we thought was going to be our RWB. Quan straight. We're throwing the ball. We're hitting Quan right here. All right? Carter, you're going to sprint up. Get out. VC, stay low. Try to turn that corner. You'll have Jay Jack up. Carter, keep going. One my shooters in the corner. Might have got that. All right, let's go. You got to turn it and you got to pitch out. Defense up. We have one, two, two again. Press up. You got to get a trap. Let's, I ain't gonna count. Count. let's see if they run that. The I ain't going to count. I don't like that play. That's too much time. Yeah, I don't know about that one. That's a lot of time. You know yeah, but at the same time, if you miss, it's hey, over. on the catch. So you got to take the best shot it, you can get. B, now it's B, over, it's over go already. Down and back it's not up. over already. Yeah, it is. Look, bro, I've seen crazy look, stuff let's, happen. Let's say they make it, right? Now they down four. Yep. Okay. Turnover or foul. And now, now they down one. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't see it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying I've seen these leads vanish pretty quickly. Corner three buckets. Okay. Okay, that was a quick one. Oh, you need a turnover. And that, that might be who you want to foul. That, that's exactly who you want to foul, yeah. Amino shouldn't even been looking for that pass. But he but he he gonna make one. If he can make one, the game over. All he gotta do is make one. And look, that's what I, if I'm coach, that's what I'm telling him. If you can make one, sir, you win us this basketball game. If he don't make one, he don't deserve to be on the court. <laughs> if he can't make one. He don't deserve to be on the court. First free throw. There you go, buddy. Okay. Thanks, man. You deserve to be on the court, pal. Man, he does look like Kenny from Beta Squad. I can't unsee it. Misses the second one. Need a quick bucket here, a quick three. Maybe get it to Knox. Oh, oh, all right, man. guys. He's a all right. He's a cheese. He is a cheese. I just, I just don't understand. She's a holly. I get it though, man. It's fast break. There's a lot going on, but Jesus, dude. Pass to your star. It's it's almost like I kind of see that he didn't even. <clears throat> he didn't even want the ball. Like you just have to be realistic. You feel me? Like if I'm on a team and I know who our best player is, you give it to him, right? I'm passing him the ball when there's 10 seconds left. Yeah. He definitely didn't want that basketball. <laughs> his his head was. <laughs> Going down to it. He didn't want it. He didn't even expect to get it. Hey, no, bro, RWE, look, it's, it's the beginning of the season. It's, it's opening weekend, Power by GC. You have so much time to figure this out, but it's just the fact that so many people's expectations were just, oh, wow, nice tip slam. All right. That really didn't erase nothing that you just did. But... Just like that, man. Jelly Fam takes it 83 to 78. 
That's it. RWE, the team that was at the top of the power rankings, drops both games this opening weekend to go 0 and 2. Man, I'm not going to lie. I don't think not one person in the chat on the broadcast in the building saw this coming. Nope, especially not me. I ain't going to count. That show didn't. Yeah, we know. <laughs> yep. Wow. Yep. I guess I'm 0 4 in predictions. I retire. Don't ask me to do no more. I'm 1 and 3, so. I won't be doing them. <laughs> Cam, how quickly are you going to make a change, man? We're going to let it play out. Okay. I mean, you know what I'm saying? We got to see the, what the next game look like, see what kind of adjustments they make, see what they come back and look like. Now, they look a little rough again. We're going to have to make some moves. WPR answer, man. Chat, how y'all feel about that game, man? So, Unless you're a Jelly fan, super fan, I'm not going to lie. I don't think you saw this coming, but wow. Looks like we have Tom with two players of the game here today. Tom, take it away. I'm here with Ian Jackson and Elijah Choppamore. You guys just won your first game in OT. How's it feel? It feels great. Uh, last night was kind of a rough start, but today we got to be play better and we got the dub. You guys came out firing, especially you. RWE, a tough, was they a tough team? Like, compare them to City Reapers last night, or is this all about how you guys play? First of all, my God, I do want to thank God for putting me here, putting me on this platform. Both great teams, both competed. Started off slow, got the jitters out, but now we're here. What can we expect from Jelly Fan this season? Uh, a whole lot of we've seen tonight. Uh, a lot of stops, uh, buckets, and just us, our effort, and everybody. I love it. These guys play hard. Ian Jackson, Elijah Moore, great job, guys. Back to you guys. Thank you. Hey, Tom, thank you for that. Congratulations to Jelly Fan for upsetting RWE, getting their first win of season three. Hey, man, it's been a marvelous opening weekend powered by GMC. I've been your host, Agent Zero, joined by Duke Dennis and Cam. Appreciate y'all for watching. If you want to catch all future content, got to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.